ask you to join us in prayer and prepare yourselves to receive because God has something special for you. Amen? Amen. I receive it myself. I prepare myself during the week, but still, this word is for, my, for me as well. It's for all of us. Amen? The word of God is for all of us. So happy Sunday morning to you, Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to the New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen? Amen. So, huh. Just prepare yourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. And we ask you to be ready. He yeah. wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. And you, you know, sometimes he convicts us because he wants us to strike now. Amen. So this is okay. But you know, we, are, what, we want you to leave change. We don't want you to leave the same. It's not just going to be the same all the time. Lord, if, he, if he's going to change you from glory to glory, that means I'm going to change. Amen. I'm not going to be the same. I'm going to grow. And I want to grow. And that's the thing about a, uh, a Christian. We want to mature. We want to grow spiritually in the things of God. We don't want to stay spiritual babies all our lives. That's we want right. to continue to grow. Amen. Amen. So praise God. He has an awesome message for you. So get yourself ready to receive. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Woo, hallelujah. Well, let's open up. Grab your swords. Yes. Grab your swords. If you don't have one, join with somebody next to you. Grab your swords, but we're going to say it like this. It's on the screen. We don't know what to say. This is my Bible. It's my Bible. I am what it says I am. I am what it says I am. I can do all things. I can do what it says I can do. Today I can talk to the Lord God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'm never being the same. Amen. I don't want to be the same. I want to grow from glory to glory. Yes. Amen. On a daily basis. Not Amen. just once in a while. Not That's hitting right. this. Amen. Yes. So I want to grow. You want to grow. Amen. Amen. If you have your handouts, those of you that are joining us, we have we get lots of handouts around here. Mm. And uh just listen, listen to it. And uh this is what it says. First handout says this. Don't face, do not face each day or your enemy until you have faced your God in prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's a spiritual battle. Yes. If you don't have him, if you don't have your armor on, you're no match to the enemy. That's We've right. said this many times. You fight a spiritual battle. That's a full-time devil out there and a part-time Christian is no match. Amen. You got to prepare yourself. So, do not face each day or the enemy until you have faced your God in prayer. Amen. amen. This is awesome. Don't throw these away. Keep these things and, and go through them. Amen. Greater is he that's in you. You can do all things through him. Amen. amen. You got to take that word and use it. Amen. But don't face the enemy without him. You're no match. You know, when uh, David, we've said this so many times, but when David saw the giant, <laughs> he ran to meet the giant mm -hmm. because he knew who was backing him. Mm -hmm. Do you know who's backing you? Mm -hmm. Amen. God is back in you. Amen. You know what? There's no giant and no problem bigger than your God. That's right. Amen. We got to know this and we got to have this attitude. Uh -huh. Amen. We're going to be talking about this in a few minutes. Have an attitude of gratitude. Ooh. Say it, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for giving us Jesus. Amen. Yes. And the next one is this. <laughs> it's so basic. But we need to know this, church. <laughs> we need to know this. Attending church every Sunday does not make you a Christian. All right. A lot of people oh, feel, just because I go to church, I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. And that's settles it. You know, I want to uh, wait once a year and I'll go and I'm a Christian. No, you don't. Attending church every Sunday does not make you a Christian. That's right. How you live your life outside of the church walls uh -huh. tells a story. Watch your words. Watch your actions. Christianity is a lifestyle of fellowship and commitment to Him. Yes. Amen. And uh, I'm going to say this in a few minutes. And we've said it before, but it goes something like this. You are mm -hmm. the only Bible mm -hmm. some people in the world will ever come close to. That's you right. are the only Bible some people will ever read mm -hmm. or open. They may not never step into a church, mm -hmm. but They'll see you. Mm -hmm. Are you living? Are you that living Bible? Mm -hmm. Are you his representative? Are you representing him? Mm -hmm. What's your words and your actions say? Because they're going to know the difference. Yeah. You can't be a phony. No, Amen. And you now. just can't pretend to be That's a Christian. It. you got to be a Christian because your lifestyle is going to show it. Amen. So praise God. So be a full-time believer. Be a full-time follower of him. Amen. 
So praise God. When they see you, they say, you know, you, you, you're the only Bible I ever been close to. You're the only Bible I ever read. And if you think that's wrong, <laughs> you try it. Go ahead and do something. And they'll say immediately, they'll say, I thought you was the Bible. I thought you was a Christian. Mm -hmm. No. Don't give them the opportunity to say those things. Amen. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive church. God has a great lesson. Yes. I know the food smells great. <laughs> <laughs> but get yourselves ready. Right. And this is just an uh, awesome message God gave me. And it up like this. It says, give thanks. Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? Yes. We sang it a few minutes ago. It says, give thanks with a grateful heart. Yes. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks. Because why? Because He's given us Jesus Christ. And that's going to be our text. And we've used it so many times. But John 3.16 says what? For God so loved mm -hmm. the world. For God so loved people. Mm -hmm. That's how it says people. You know what ministry is? Ministry is people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everywhere you go is people. There's people everywhere. For God so loved us that He gave His only begotten Son. There you go. That whoever believes yeah. believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting, everlasting life. life. Amen. Yeah. So thank you. You know, he's the first one to give. And yeah. Jesus, of course, came and sacri was sacrificed and he gave. So yes. we need to give our best. They gave yeah. their best. As believers, we should give thanks to him. Not just once he here for Thanksgiving, but on a daily basis. Just say, Thank you, Jesus. You know, if you wake up in the morning. That's the first thing to say is thank you. Give yeah. thanks because you woke up. Amen. <laughs> you woke up, you can say thank you. If you don't yes. know what else to say, just say thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you. I'm a child of God. Amen. And he woke you up. And you know what? Father loves you so much. Yes, he does. Just say thank you for loving me. Amen. Thank you for waking me up. Yeah. Thank you that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. Don't pretend you are a believer. Amen. You are a Christian. Yeah. So thank him on a daily basis with an attitude of gratitude. If you want to catch an attitude, and I know we all do, last week we talked about uh, two things you got to change <laughs> before you go anywhere. One of them is your attitude. Mm -hmm. If you have a bad attitude, don't go anywhere until you change that. <laughs> <laughs> have a right attitude. Yes. <laughs> have a godly attitude Amen. before you go anywhere. I'll take these out very quick. Believers are also called to be grateful and thankful people. Gratitude is changes depression yeah. to joy and frowns to smiles. We sang yeah. a few minutes ago, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Why? Because of what the Lord has done for us. Mm -hmm. So you know what? We've been talking about changing our vocabulary, about changing our language. If he's done these things for us, and this is what the Word of God says. Let's quit confessing the negative. And mm -hmm. let's start confessing the positive. Amen. Amen. We can do all things through Christ all who strengthens us. Amen. You know, instead of having the enemy uh, chasing you all over the place, <laughs> it's time to put him on the run. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, he's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power loving of a sound mind. Yes. And so now it's time to say, wait a minute. I have authority over you. I'm That's taking right. authority over you. So I'm putting you on the run. That's right. And you know, every time he comes around, when you stand on the word, mm -hmm. and he comes around, he'll just skip you and go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, he goes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in this world, the world catch. Mm -hmm. Everybody uses catch. You know, everything's coming around. You catch it. Well, I'm not catching any negative things, okay? I'm not catching any sickness. Right. I'm not going to re receive it. I'm not catching it. I'm letting it go. Go somewhere else. <laughs> Because I'm not going to catch that. That's right. Giving yes. thanks to God. In Psalms 1, uh, 118, 24 says what? Well, this is the day the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. This is the day the Lord has given you. He woke you up. It's a new day to serve Him. Yes. It's a new day to be glad. Mm -hmm. It says rejoice and be glad in Him. It didn't say, well, if it's nice and sunny, <laughs> you be glad and rejoice. No, He says, this day, because you're up and awake. Okay, yeah. you're the body of Christ. Yeah. You need to go out there before you spend time with you know you spend time with him before you step out into the world. Because he says you can do all things through Christ. Greater is he that is in you mm -hmm. than he that is in the world. The world's gonna come at you, the world's gonna test you. Are you ready for this? <laughs> okay? Because if you're not, your spirit's not gonna respond. 
is your flesh going to respond? Mm -hmm. And you know what the flesh does. Oh, yes. The flesh is not so nice. That's right. You know, people's not going to be so nice. Even when you're in the spirit, if you say nice things, <laughs> they're going to say ugly things. Mm -hmm. But you're in the spirit. You can say, you know, God's on Jesus already paid for it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You sow good seed and not negative seed. Amen. So praise God. God is good. Every day yes. is a day to give thanks and Amen. be thankful. Psalms 91, 92, 1 says this. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Go to the next slide. That's right. <laughs> We're going to get there. We're coming to Praise God. So, give thanks. <laughs> The Bible says it in uh, John 10, 10, what? The enemy comes to what? Steal, Steal kill, and destroy. <laughs> if you haven't found that out yet, <laughs> it's time you know. The enemy, the devil, not your friend, <laughs> not your next door neighbor, but the enemy, Satan, comes to steal, kill, destroy. Mm -hmm. If those things are happening in your life, it's time to mm -hmm. confess him as Jesus, yes. Yes. as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Make a change in your life. Amen. Start serving him. What Jesus says, in the same scripture, at the end of the scripture, it says, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Okay? So, we got to hook up with him Amen. and be thankful for what he's done. Amen. It goes like this. The thief comes not except to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Yes. Believers should rejoice and be glad and give thanks. To him daily. All the time. Mm -hmm. You know, not just when you feel like it. Mm -hmm. Well, if things are just right. Mm -hmm. You know? No, it doesn't go that way. You should thank him at all times. Yes, amen. amen. Thank him at all times. Just say thank you, Father. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now we come to Psalms 100. That's my other text. Reasons we should be grateful and thankful. In Psalms 100, you can read it there, I'll read it to you from here. It says, Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all ye lands. Serve yes. the Lord with what? Gladness. Gladness, not sadness. <laughs> if things are happening your way, if oh. things are going your way, oh. no, it says, Serve the Lord with gladness. gladness. You know, this is why you make up your mind and know if you're going to serve Him, Serve him with gladness. Mm -hmm. And when you serve him with gladness, people are going to see the difference. Yes, thank And they're going to say, I see something different about you. Mm -hmm. When you do something, you do it with gladness. Amen. You enjoy what you're doing. Yes. Okay? Because if you don't do it this way, you're in the flesh. Uh -huh. And people can tell. Okay? But he says, serve the Lord with gladness. So when people are ugly and mean to you, mm. and you're still serving... God's people. He wants us to serve people. Yeah. And when you're serving them and they're not so nice to you, and this mm -hmm. is all the time, when they're not so nice to you, you can still say, mm -hmm. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. And you've heard some of you heard my testimony. When I prepare myself, myself to serve him, mm -hmm. to greet somebody, to be an usher, to be a greeter, to be a helper, anywhere, to do anything for him, to clean the church. I always say, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. I'm preparing myself as if I'm going to greet Jesus is going to be here. Mm -hmm. Jesus is here. Amen. Jesus is coming to this church. Yes. I'm going to clean it. And I'm not going to just halfway do things. I'm going to do it right because I know he's going to be here. Amen. Amen. I'm going to greet it. I'm going to greet people because the same Jesus died for me, died for them. Yeah. And I've already settled this. Lord, you're going to bless me. You've already blessed me. The price has been paid. So I'm doing this under you. And I'm his servant. Uh -huh. I imitate him. So when people see me, they should see say, something different about you. I was mean and ugly to you, but you didn't answer me in a negative way. You answered me the right way. God's way. Amen. Yeah. Come before his presence with what? Singing. If you're going to sing, hey, you know, people say, you don't sing so good. Well, I say, well, I'll just make a joyful lesson to the Lord. Amen. <laughs> so you can go stand somewhere else. <laughs> or go sit somewhere else. <laughs> but uh, coming, coming to this place where we're singing, know that the Lord is God. 
It is you who has made us and not we ourselves. He made you. He called you. He equipped you. And he put you here on a mission. And if you're hooked up with him, he's going to guide you and lead you to the right place and do the right thing. Amen. And no way to perform against you is going to prosper. That's right. Amen. No way to perform against you is going to prosper. He's going to bless you. Mm -hmm. He's already called you. So if you're still here, that means he's not finished with you. So don't say, well, you're going to try to escape and just sit on the, on the sidelines. <laughs> no. <clears throat> he's called us to be participators, not spectators. Get involved. Amen? Get involved. You can do all things through him. We're his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Into his courts with praise. praise. Amen? <laughs> be thankful to him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth through all, all generations. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If you don't have Psalms 91, uh, Psalms 100, uh -huh. it's time you open it up and yeah. read it for yourself. Amen. Amen. Maybe you get a translation you can understand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, King James is great, but if you need to read it in the English version that you can understand yourself, yeah. read it in the English version, okay? Yeah. So praise God, this is the new King James I just read to you. Psalms 103, 1 through 5 says this, Praise the Lord, the Lord of mercies. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Yes. Bless his holy name. Yes. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. Yes. Who forgiveth all your iniquities. Yes. Amen. Who heals all your diseases, all diseases, sickness, illness. You know, if you're watching, you're listening, you know, whatever part of your body is aching you, just put your hands on it. Say, lay hands on the sick uh -huh. and you shall be healed. It didn't say pray, it just says lay hands. Yes. I'm a child of God. I'm believing for my, for my healing. Jesus already paid the price. You just lay your hands on there and say, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. Amen? You're hearing as well. You're speaking as well. You know, whatever's aching you, my servant is healed. Amen? Whatever is aching you, just say, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. I receive my healing. Body line up with the word of God and be healed. I receive my healing. Amen? So, uh, sickness is not for you. Healing is for you. Amen? Because the price has been paid already. Who redeems your life from destruction. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfies your mouth with good things. So that yeah. your youth is renewed like, like the eagles. Amen. I confess it all the time. My youth is renewed like the eagles. Amen. <laughs> when you say, man, you're getting old. I say, man, <laughs> inside I feel young. <laughs> Amen. I feel young. Young, young, young. Because the word God tells me. He renews yes. just like the eagle. Amen. Praise Amen. God. So give the, and you know, it's also an attitude. Yes, yes. You know, yeah. you go around confessing how bad you are, oh. how ugly you are. I mean, that might be something you want to say, but I'm not going to say that. The Bible says I'm a child of God. And I'm yeah. going to tell you, I am handsome. Okay? I am beautiful. Amen? We've been talking about changing the way we talk. Amen? Yeah. I can do all things through Christ so strength me. Yeah. Amen? You are a champion. You are a winner. Yes. You know, I don't care what your body is telling you. If your body is telling you that you're sick, just say, the Word of God says I'm healed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm confessing and standing on the Word of God. <coughs> God yeah. stripes I'm healed. Yes. So body, you find up with the Word of God. Yeah. Sickness, go in Jesus' name. Yeah. I don't receive you. That's right. So be thankful. Why? Because He's forgiven all our sins. Yes. He's healed all our diseases, all our sicknesses, redeemed us from destruction, mm -hmm. saved us from the pit of hell. Yes. <laughs> Thank if that's not enough, I mean, that, that's enough Praise for you to stand God. before him and say, yes. thank you, Jesus. You know what yeah. I mean? We all have testimonies. Uh -huh. He says, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. Yes. So whatever your testimony is, he didn't give it to you for you to keep for yourself. That's right. He gave it to you so you can release it Amen. and bless somebody because it's going to release It's going gonna, it's gonna to release somebody else. Yes. Amen. Your testimony means a whole lot. Amen. Yes. We all have different testimony. Well, mine is greater than yours. No. Your testimony is going to release and, and uh, set somebody free. Yes. That's what it's going to do. It set somebody free. God been there. Amen. Whatever it is. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever it is. Whatever it is. You know, it's awesome. Yes. Because God said, the word of God says, they overcame by the word of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. The so, you know what? That testimony you have mm -hmm. is there for a reason. It's there for you to share with somebody. And God's using that That's in a right. mighty way. When you release it, 
it goes and accomplishes what God wants it to do. Yes. Amen. So your testimony and you are very special in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Woo! It gives us loving kindness and mercies. His love, his compassion. You know, on a daily basis, I tell you this, before you step out in the world, as you spend time with him in prayer and prepare yourselves to go out into the world, mm. before you step out into the world, put your love and compassion oh, glasses man. on. On a daily basis. These are my Jesus glasses on. I put them on. I'm going out into the world. Mm. I've got my love and my compassion. When I see people, I see well, I see them with Jesus' love and compassion. Because that's the way he sees them. Yes. He died for them also. I just don't go around seeing the, the negative thing. I don't go around just seeing the bad thing they're doing. I know the same Jesus. They need Jesus. They need the truth. Yes. Because it's the truth that's going to set them free. Yes. Amen. But don't go around the judge. He says, go out and share the word. Yes. Amen. Go out and spread the word. Yes. He didn't say go out and judge people. Oh, that's right. Put your love and your compassion on yes. before you go out there yeah. so you can be able to minister to them. Amen. Jesus says, minister to this person. He said, well, you don't know them the way I know them. Well, they're going to do it. That was, is that right? <laughs> Put your love and compassion glasses on so you can go yes. out there and be a great minister of reconciliation for them. Yes. Bringing the world to him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Remember that you're going to hear. Yeah. <laughs> he gives us plenty of good things to eat. Ooh, Hallelujah. I can smell yes. it now. It, tastes, it smells good. <laughs> Those of you that are watching and listening, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we're having fellowship today. So the kitchen is close by, and I can smell the food, and it smells <laughs> real well. It smells good. Thank God for my smell. It's, it's here. <laughs> Renew your health and your strength. So your youth is renewed. Amen. Yes. Praise God. So don't go around saying negative things about you, your health or your youth. Don't go around confessing, you know, because somebody says you look this way or, or you're this way. You know, a lot of jealous people go around saying negative things about you. Oh, yeah. So don't go around confessing what they said. That's right. That's right. Confess what the Word of God says. Yeah. Whatever so and so, just forget that. Uh -huh. Reasons we should give thanks. Give thanks for His presence in our lives. Uh -huh. Amen. People deserve us. Amen. Come on. Amen. <laughs> People deserve us <laughs> when we need them. Yeah. You find out who your friends are. <laughs> Where did they yeah. go? Where did everybody go? <laughs> uh -huh. You know when the money's gone? Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> when the booze is gone, yeah. the drink is gone, yeah. the drugs is gone, your friends is gone. Yeah. <laughs> Where did they go? I need them now. Uh -huh. You're the one that got busted. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm your friend <laughs> when you got stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. Oh, they use you until oh, it's yeah. all gone. Yeah. <laughs> the Lord is with us all the time in all situations. Yes. He you see this? Well, get too far ahead here. The Lord has never left us. Yes. No forsook right. us. You know, he was with Noah, he was with Moses, Abraham, Gideon, Noah, Job, David, Joseph. He was with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He's with you. With you. And then he's with you all the time. Amen. You know, all you need to do is communicate with him. You know, when you communicate with him, don't just go and blast everything you want and then run away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> go and spend time with him and let him speak back to you. Yeah, Amen. Right. You know, we Amen. want we, we, we the phone rings in heaven and you expect him to uh, pick it up. Mm. You know, it's never busy. Mm. <laughs> but when he calls back to us, our phone is always busy. And we don't want to pick it up and say, aha, uh -huh, call her ID. I, I don't want to talk right now. <laughs> Come on, nobody, everybody's acting so innocent. Mm. Hebrews 5, uh, 13, 5 and 6 says this, Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will what? I will never, never. leave you nor forsake you. If you feel lonely, it's not because he's not with you. It's because you haven't hooked up with him. That's right. You need to communicate with him. You need to fellowship with him. Yeah. He is there all the time. Yeah. When you feel by yourself, it's just like the footprints in the, in the sand. Uh -huh. <laughs> so when you uh -huh. left me, uh -huh. see there's only one set of footprints. Mm -hmm. Say, yeah, he says, I was carrying you. Yeah. Even though you feel by yeah. yourself, he says, I was carrying you. Yes. At your worst times, mm -hmm. when you felt you were by yourself, mm -hmm. 
I was always there with you. Mm -hmm. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Mm -hmm. He's there. Yes. <laughs> you know the prodigal son when he ran away from the dad and says, Dad, you know, hey, thanks for raising me, mm -hmm. giving me my inheritance. I'm out of here. I'm gone. But you know, on a daily basis, the father went out and yeah. looked out the road because he was expecting his son to come back. Mm -hmm. Jesus is expecting you to come back yes. to him. Yes. You may be gone now, but he's expecting you to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It's time to turn around and come back. Oh, yes. He says he never leaves you. No never leaves Jesus. And you know, when you turn around and says, <laughs> just like the prodigal son, it's time to go back home. Mm -hmm. It's time to go back home. And see, I can have, I can do better with Father at Father's house. He won't turn away. When you do a turnaround, he'll embrace you and says, you know, dust you off and say, hey, it's time to press on. Mm -hmm. And some people say, well, you know, he can't use you now because all the bad things you've done. Mm -hmm. No, it's time to say, I, I, I confess, repent, and it's time to press on. Amen. Amen. It's time to press on. Keep going. <laughs> You may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Mm -hmm. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Mm -hmm. Just remember this on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. If God is for me, who can be against me? Mm -hmm. Because the world is going to come against you. Mm -hmm. People are going to come against you. Especially mm -hmm. if you're one of them Jesus lovers. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No. yeah. He told in that Bible, you know, people are going to come against you no matter what. Oh, oh, you're one of them, huh? Yeah. It's time yeah. to no, not, not, not be ashamed of people saying, well, you're, a, you, you, you're one of oh, them. Uh, Believers, huh? You want yes. them Christians, huh? Yes. yes. Hallelujah. I'm not ashamed. That's right. He wasn't ashamed. You know when he hung on that cross? That's right. He was beaten. He's crucified. Mm. And he was laying up there. The Bible says he wasn't they weren't able to recognize him. Mm. And he laid up there naked in front of all people to watch. Mm. Now that's he took the shame away. Yes. So yes, he did. Don't be ashamed to say people say that you're a Christian, you're a child of God. Hey, God's going to give you your friends, okay? That's and if right. he takes old friends away, I told you this before, I asked the Lord to help me with my enemies. And guess what? I started losing friends. Mm -hmm. So if he takes friends away from you, <laughs> he'll bring you let, you, he'll let him go. He'll bring you new friends and he'll be there for you. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. Uh, his presence is always with us. Amen. Amen. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. He is our shepherd. Amen. Yes, he is. He'll lead you and he'll guide you. Psalms 91 says, safely and abiding in the presence of God. These are songs. These are awesome songs. Amen. When you get a chance, go read mm -hmm. Psalms 23. Yes. Go read Psalms 91. Amen. Abiding in the presence of God. And it's safety. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. You know, we get the, it's just like we're under his umbrella of protection. Yes, we are. So you don't want to walk away from under, under his protection. That's right. The enemy wants you to do this. Mm -hmm. And you know what happens when you um, uh. get away from him uh -huh. and try to get away from him and just mm -hmm. walk away from his protection? The enemy's going to have you mm -hmm. because you are walking away. Mm -hmm. So you stay under that umbrella of Amen. protection. Amen. Exodus 33 and 14 says this. The Lord replied, My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. He's yeah. with you at all times. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Uh -huh. So notice, church, as we come to a close. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Woo. Jesus. Man, that's the most amens I ever got. <laughs> We're going to continue this next week. But know that He is always with you. It says He never leaves you nor forsakes you. That's right. You know, if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling by yourself, it's time that you spend time with Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He doesn't pull away from Him, from you. you right. We pull away from Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. We pull away from Him. We never found Him because He never went anywhere. That's right. He wasn't lost. <laughs> we were the ones that were lost. And now we're back to Him. Mm -hmm. Now we need to spend time with Him. And get the word in us. Get the word in you. You know when you get the word in you, the faith, your faith will grow. Yes. And all that fear is going to come out. Yeah. All that lack is going to come yeah. out. And you're going to start walking out in faith. And you're going to start walking out in this word. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then he says you can do all things to Christ who oh, strengthens yes. you now. You know the truth. And the truth Amen. is going to set you free from what the world's been telling you. What the friends have been telling you. Mm -hmm. What the enemy's been telling you. You're going to get away from all that. And yes. now 
I can do all things through Christ who yes. saves me. Amen. And greater is he that's in you. And you're a Christian. And I mean, you're a winner. You're a champion. Yeah. And you're going somewhere to happen. Amen. You're going somewhere to be a blessing for somebody. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. You know, don't see yourself as a nobody. See yourself as somebody. Yes. Because Woo. that's the way he sees you. Amen. Amen. He sees you as somebody. You are somebody. Yes. So remember that. So we want to close. Praise God. And we already said this. Those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, if you never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, now's the time. All you need to do is Amen. say, Lord, I sin against you. I repent. Mm -hmm. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And hook up with a church that's preaching the word of God. Amen. Amen. But he wants you to be there. He says, do not forsake the assembling of yourselves together. That's right. They're preaching. They're teaching the word of God. Yeah. Amen. Now, we're not teaching a new thing. We're teaching his word. That's amen. right. It's not about me. It's about him. Yes. Amen. amen. If you have something that's ailing you right now, just touch that part of your body and say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Amen. amen. It says, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Mm -hmm. I'm touching with you and I'm agreeing with you that by his stripes you are healed. Amen. So praise God. Lord, touch him. Lord, teach him. Heal right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So praise God. We'll see you next week. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you.